Hello friends, welcome to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification, when we post new video on the channel. This is short video about GMI PS200 Portable Gas Detector. In this video, you will learn What is Bump Test for Gas Detectors? And how to perform manual bump test in GMI PS200 series gas detector. First of all, let's learn. What is bump test for gas detectors? It is one type of test to check the sensor response and alarm operation by exposing the instrument to a known concentration of gas. In other words, it is the only way to ensure the gas detector unit is working properly. It checks that the display reacts when target gas is applied to sensor. Bump test also confirms that all the alarms are activated and the detector works properly into alarm. The PS200 series of instruments can be bump tested either manually or it can be bump tested automatically by using auto or calibration station. In this section, you will learn about manual bump test options. The GMI PS200 series provides two manual bump test options. First option is quick bump test. And second option is full bump test. The quick bump test validates that the alarm threshold has been exceeded for each range. And this test is configured by default. On the other side, the full bump test checks the response of all ranges against set limits. In this section, you will learn how to initiate manual bump test. To initiate a manual bump test, switch the instrument on with a long press of the LH button. During warm up, bump test will flash on the top line of the display. When the warm up is complete, the user is prompted to apply the test gas screen. As you can see from the picture that, screen is alternating with bump test and apply gas. Apply the test gas to instrument, when the screen is alternating with bump test and apply gas. This stage of bump test is dependent on whether quick or full bump test is configured. For example, let's say quick bump test is configured. In this case, if the alarm threshold for each range is exceeded, the audible, visual, and vibration will activate, and a true symbol will appear. And if the alarm threshold for each range is not exceeded, a maintenance symbol will be displayed. On the other side, if the full bump test is configured, the gas readings are checked against configurable limits. And the audible, visual, and vibration alarms will activate, and a true symbol will appear, if the readings are within these limits. Otherwise, a maintenance symbol will be displayed. The user is then prompted to confirm if the audible and visual alarms were activated. Here, the audible, visual and vibrating alarms activate for 2 seconds only, when activated during the bump test. If the alarms were activated, then press RH button to confirm the alarms. After selecting yes or no, the user is informed of the overall bump test result as shown. As you can see, screen is alternating with alarm status and actual gas concentration of different gases. Once you get the bump test result, remove the bump test gas from the instrument. The bump test result including date and time will be automatically data logged in the instrument. When the gas readings fall below their alarm set points, or after 60 seconds, the bump test is complete, and the instrument will automatically return to normal operation. If any gas range fail the bump test, the display will be red and a maintenance symbol will be displayed. If an instrument fails a bump test, then a full recalibration will be required. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. And if you have any questions regarding this video, 
please do ask me in comment box. And I will try to give best possible answers to your questions.